the JAMA Network. Imagine someone taking like a stick and just like stabbing, like, you know, like hitting you on your joints. That's how painful it is. That pain caused Juliana Ejidobe to spend a lot of time in the hospital. She was diagnosed with sickle cell at age two. It's a genetic disorder where normal donut-shaped red blood cells become sickle or banana-shaped cells. These sickle cells have a difficult time passing through the blood vessels. They can clog the joints, causing bone pain in the lungs, difficulty breathing and pneumonia, and in the brain, stroke. A bone marrow transplant is the only way to cure the disease. The standard transplant usually involves uh, full doses of chemotherapy and or radiation. Most adults with sickle cell disease have organ damage that would prevent them from being able to get a standard bone marrow transplant. Doctors John Tisdale and Matthew Shea from the National Institutes of Health and co-authors tested a regimen that didn't require destroying all of an adult patient's bone marrow. 30 patients who had a sibling with matching immune characteristics received the less intensive transplant. Therapies for uh, sickle cell disease are only very few. There's only one drug that's available uh, to treat. Uh, the remainder of the therapy includes in blood transfusions. In whom these two therapies don't work, other approaches are needed. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. Transplantation was successful in 26 of the 30 patients. Using this less toxic way of preparing a patient for a bone marrow transplant had success rates that are comparable to the more toxic kind of transplant that's performed in children. Juliana received bone marrow from her older sister. It changed my life. Yeah, I do get pain, but it's not compared to what I used to have before. Following her passion, Juliana is now a nurse with big plans for her future. I'm just looking forward to just living life, being normal, getting married, and just having my own family. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.